Hi, my name is Sophia. I'm 14 years old and I'm a vegetarian. I also share my basic genetic code with every single living organism on this planet, including bacteria, pine trees, and pigs. You might be wondering why I'm telling you this and why my food choice matters. Well, I believe that humans tend to think that we are better, different, superior even, to other animals. I can't deny that we're most definitely dif different. But better, superior? What does superiority really mean anyways? And why do some people say that humans are superior to, or better than other animals? Is it because we have the biggest brain in proportion to our body size? Or because our vocal abilities are incredible? Or because maybe we're in every corner of this planet? We really need to focus on what is superiority in order to dig deeply into the roots of why people believe that animals are considered inferior and thus are less important than we are. One way to define superior would be as something greater in quantity or numbers. Not surprisingly, we do not have the largest biomass on this planet. As stated in the Smithsonian Magazine, all, bi our, all biomass made of carbon on Earth is about 550 gigatons. In contrast, animals make up about 2 gigatons and humans only 0.06. We really are insignificant in terms of mass. There is another way to define superior of higher rank, quality, or importance. So now the challenge is to think. Do humans have a higher importance than animals? No, we don't. What humans do have is the ability to use tools, and many think this makes us special. But other animals use tools too, even if our tools are quite advanced in terms of technology. And if you think that only apes and advanced mammals use tools, then you're wrong. Several different types of animals use tools, such as a sea otter who hits mollusk cells at rocks to get to the meat inside, or the carrier sea snail, which attaches shells, rocks, and other clutter to disguise and protect itself. There are countless other animals that use tools as well. We're not alone in tool use, so we can cross that off the list too. Another reason we believe that we're above the others is because of our ability to talk. Scientists think that because animals don't have a part of their brain called the Broca's area, which deals with part of tidia speech, and the Wernick's area, which comprehends speech, animals cannot talk and understand what they're saying in a language humans can under understand. But there are many ways that animals can communicate with others as well, including pheromones, which are chemicals, auditory signals, tactile signals, and visual signals. So we're not the only animals that communicate, and that isn't a valid argument for human superiority. Communication is a fundamental trait for many species of animals, and to say that it's a human trait only is a lie. Another reason that humans sometimes feel above other animals is because we believe that only we express empathy and emotions as well as complex thinking. But this is completely inaccurate, because animals do think and express empathy and feel just like humans. One example of this is stated in the National Geographic, where it says that many documented about many documented stories of elephants helping people who got lost. One story tells about how an old woman with impaired vision got lost and was found the next day with elephants guarding her in some sort of cage made of branches from hyenas. Franz de Waal, who studies animal behavior, has conducted many experiments on primates, including one experiment where two capuchin monkeys were given a task and then were given a cucumber as a prize. They were, they were given another task to complete and then one was given a cucumber and the other was given a grape. The first piece eaten by the monkey who gets the cucumber is fine, but when it sees the other getting a grape, it waits to get one as well. Upon not receiving a grape, it grows angry and throws the cucumber back at the person who gave it to him. This shows they understand inequality and fairness. Animals are perfectly capable of feeling empathy and in distinguishing fairness, which is, in Franz de Waal's words, they're the pillar of morality. And to be honest with you, many humans don't have these traits, and they still consider themselves superior. So it's really funny how it works. It's true that humans have special abilities, such as advanced tool making, but many animals also have countless special abilities that humans lack. For example, many animals can hibernate, some, and some can even survive the atomic bomb. Another example is a tardigrade, an eight-legged, one-millimeter creature 
who can live for 30 years without food or water in the six times the pressure of the, de the, the deepest parts of the ocean, in the vacuum of space, and in temperatures above boiling. Even if we had really, really, even if we have really, really advanced technology, we aren't superior because the tardigrade isn't superior for living in vacuum of space, or and neither are the other animals who can hibernate. So why are we the exception? Humans are perfectly capable of understanding that animals are, in, are individual beings who feel and think just like us. But I think we're afraid to, because if we acknowledge that, then we'll feel guilty about torturing and hurting and completely murdering other animals. You generally don't think before you eat that piece of bacon, that piece of steak, or that pork that you just love. You don't think that it came from an animal that wanted to live just like you. That's why I'm vegetarian, because I don't want to be, I don't want my body to be a graveyard to other animals. Do you? It's truly important that we see ourselves on the same level as other living things, because if we do, we'll stop animal cruelty, fix the climate crisis, and live a better life.